Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So, during this whole quarantine, stay inside, don't leave your house, everything's closed thing that is happening right now, I have done a lot, like a lot of online shopping, like an insane amount. I have bought a ton of stuff. I still actually have more stuff coming in the mail, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that I've purchased during this quarantine that we were going through. So yeah, so I figured I would sit down, gather all my new stuff, and show you guys what I have purchased during this because it's not a lot, but it is kind of a lot, but whatever. So if you guys are interested, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump into the video. Okay, so let's start with one of my first purchases and probably one of my favorites. I had my eye on this for quite some time and then I finally like just said screw it and I bought it. This is a limited edition. I think this was during the 2019 holiday collection. This is a Starbucks tumbler. I, okay, so let me tell you a quick backstory with this. A few weeks ago, I was in Target and they had their limited edition spring tumbler. Now, I didn't know that Tar that uh, Starbucks did this. I didn't know that they came out with a different limited edition tumbler. So the one that they came out with spring is a matte pink and it's um just like this, but it's just matte pink. So it has like the little studs and stuff. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, like I love that. So I started like looking online, looking on like Poshmark and Macari and eBay and seeing like what other tumblers there were. And this one, so many people had up for sale and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, like I really like love this. I love how shiny it is. I love that it's like kind of see through so you can kind of see where your water's at. And it's just, it's so, it's just so pleasing to look at. Like I freaking am obsessed with this tumbler. I got the matte pink one a little over a month ago, but I definitely think I like this one a little bit more just because it is super shiny. But yeah, so this was the first purchase that I did purchase during this whole quarantine. I bought it off of somebody from Macari. It was brand new. Um, and yeah, and I just, I am like in love with it. American Eagle was having a sale during this whole thing. So of course, like I went on and I ordered some stuff and I did order these really, really, really cute sandals. These are so so cute. I think, hold on, let me see. The original retail price of them was $24, but I got them for $6. Like, I was so shocked when I saw the price of them. I was like, oh my god, I need these. And they're so cute. I was a little scared that they'd be uncomfortable, but I put, like, my foot, my feet in them, and they literally fit so perfectly and so comfortable. Like, I thought this would be a little bit more hard, but it's not. It's, like, super soft. So I freaking love these. And then I purchased these ones as well. These I was in love with too. I love like a black strap and then like a tan sandal. I think it's so cute. This is what these look like. And then they have this really cute buckle right here, which is so adorable. These I think were 24 too. No, these were actually 29. And I'm pretty sure I got these for like 12 after like the discount and stuff. So, so excited. They fit me so good. And I really hope that I get to wear them this summer and that this whole quarantine thing is over because you guys don't understand living in New York. I literally plan my entire year around the summer. That's when I take all my vacation. That's when I do all my things. June, July, August are like my months. Those are my, that's my favorite time of year just because it's so cold here all year round. So I love being outside. I love going to the beach. I love tanning. I love all that stuff. So fingers crossed that by then I can do all those fun things and wear my cute sandals. Anyways, moving on. So I did purchase some stuff off Amazon. So one of the first things that I purchased is this acrylic organizer. So if you guys watched my declutter video, you saw that my vanity was kind of like a hot mess and it really, I knew where everything was, but everything wasn't like super, super organized like it should be. So I went on Amazon and I got these, I think for $7.99 each and they fit just like this. I actually have to keep them in my Alex drawers because my vanity is a little too small so I can't fit this inside of it, but it's totally fine. I just love the organization. This one is obviously all my Kylie stuff, so I have it facing backwards so that I know what's what because they all legit have the same frigging like front like front portion of the compact so I have them all turned the opposite way so that I can read what's on the back of them but these really just made my draw look so much better they really just now I know where everything is you know what I mean I love that feeling of knowing where all my stuff is and I don't have to worry about like scrambling and looking for different things because I misplaced it no everything has like a home now in my vanity, which just makes my mind feel so just like, huh, like I feel so at ease like when I do my makeup now because everything has a home. So 
freaking love that. So the other thing that I purchased from Amazon is a makeup product. This is the Ben Nye Fair Translucent Powder. I have heard about this for years and I have recently been watching some people's videos and I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it more. So I remember there was a lot of hype around this a few years ago and I was in the need for a new setting powder. So I figured I would pick this up and I have been loving it. It's so nice. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry or anything like that. The only thing is I hate this packaging. Like this is the worst packaging of life. I literally have to dump some into another powder cap just to be able to like bake and just set my face with it. But I did order a empty compact from Amazon which isn't coming till like the end of April. If you guys have Amazon Prime then you know that a lot of the stuff that is still Prime technically isn't because they're prioritizing like food and vitamins and that type of stuff obviously over an empty powder compact so they're doing like things that are prime they're not sending out till the end of April so I won't have the empty compact to transfer all this powder into until the end of April which is not a big deal like it's not like I'm dying over here but this is a really really nice powder and I really like it too because it was only like $12 and you get you actually get a decent amount of powder in here like I love the Kylie one and you get yeah, you get 0.35 ounces, and then in here you get 1.5 ounces. So you get way more in this, and it's like half the price. So I really, really have been enjoying this. I did place an order online with Bath & Body Works too, because I did want a soap, I wanted candles. You know, being in the house all day, I love burning candles, so I definitely needed more of them, because I was down on like my last three-wick candle, and I was like, oh, hell no, I need more candles. So I did place an order. So the first thing that I picked up is this Rose Water & Ivy Creamy Luxe Hand Soap, I love this scent, the rose water and ivy. It's definitely one of my favorite, favorite scents by them. I didn't want the Creamy Luxe one. I'm really enjoying their new um, formula. I think it's called the Gentle Gel. Um, what is it? The Gentle Gel Hand Soap or something. This is a really thick consistency. The gel one is more like liquidy and stuff. I do like it a little bit better, but online, I guess because of everything that's going on, they have such a limited supply. Like they only have like five soaps per category. So I did just pick this one up. I only got one because I do have a few backups in my house, but this is my favorite scent and I'm literally running out of it as we speak. So I was like, I need, I need this because I freaking love it. Speaking of rose water and ivy, I did also pick up the candle. I love Bath and Body Works candles and I love, I just love the way this smells. It smells so, so, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells so clean and fresh and like spring and it's just such a beautiful scent. I did pick up another three wick candle. I did pick up the scent Japanese Cherry Blossom. I am obsessed with this packaging and all the cherry blossoms on the side. Now, I don't know if it was the same for everybody, but I remember when I first heard about um, Bath & Body Works, everybody, my friends, and like people that weren't my friends, everybody freaking used to always have the cream and the hand sanitizer to this scent. Japanese Cherry Blossom was the scent to have in high school and I remember everybody loved it and everybody had it and of course like I had a bunch of like hand sanitizers and lotions with this scent and of course like I grew tired of it but I was in Bath and Body Works a few weeks ago and I smelt it and I was like oh my god this literally smells like my junior year summer going into my senior year and it just brings back like good memories even though I don't have a lot of good memories from high school this scent kind of brings back some good ones and I just, oh my god, I literally can't wait to like this. I'm so freaking excited. But the next thing that I picked up from Bath & Body Works, I actually picked up two of the same. And let me show you guys. Ugh. These are three wick candle holders. And I picked them up because, first of all, they are so adorable with the marble. And they're like really, like really sturdy. I felt these in store a few weeks ago. And I don't know why I never, I just didn't pick them up. I was like, oh, I don't need them. And then I was online and I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I need these. I think they're so beautiful. And I do have a lot of candle holders in my house, but they're kind of like, they don't go with, like, the style of my house anymore. I used to have, like, old blinged out ones. I still have them, but they just don't go with the way my house is starting to, like, look like I've grown out of them. So I wanted to pick this like, these up because I want to, like, sit my candle like this. Like, look at how cute that looks, right? Oh, my God. I literally can't wait to... Oh wait, is one of them broken? Oh no, one of them is broken. Oh, I didn't notice that. What? Oh, I'm so upset. It's not that big of a deal, but look, it's like kind of chipped right there. Oh, that sucks. Whatever, it's not, 
the end of the world, I guess. I did pick up two of them because I want to put one upstairs um, in my bedroom and then one downstairs in my living room. So that was the reason for me picking up two of them. But yeah, so moving on. So obviously me being home, of course, like even when it's not quarantine, I'm always placing orders on Sephora. So you guys already know, I placed an order at Sephora and I'm going to share with you guys all the stuff that I got. I didn't get that much stuff, but this order cost me like $120. So even though it doesn't look like a lot, I spent a lot, but anyways. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have been using this to clean my brushes for years now. This is literally the only thing that I use to clean my brushes. I feel like it's the only thing that really works. And I don't like to get my brushes like super soaked by like washing them with like, um, like a liquid soap or anything. I like to just use like a quick drying thing because I just feel like this really holds the shape of the brush as to using like water and soap I feel like it kind of disshapes the brush so that's why I love using this oh the next thing that I picked up is this little travel pack from Belief now a few years ago I used to love 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 Belief and recently I was on Sephora's website because you guys know I switched over to clean skincare products I say this in almost every single video but I did I switched over to clean skincare products so I stopped using a lot of stuff that I was using before so I guess Sephora updated their website and now there's a ton of brands on there that have like the little green clean at Sephora stamp and when I saw that belief was one of them I was like oh my god I need to pick up this little travel kit because I used to be obsessed like obsessed with belief it was literally one of the only um, skincare lines that I use and I really really like it this is the, which one is this one? The Aqua Hydration Rescue Kit. So it comes with the Aqua Bomb, comes with the Hydrating Tona, Tona, Toner, comes with the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask, the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser, and then the Moisturizing Eye Bomb. So yeah, so I picked this up. It was like $22 or something, but I love this. I'm such a fan of like little travel minis like this because I feel like you don't break the bank by buying them, but you also get to test out a lot of the other products and use a lot of other products for a cheaper price. So I'm a big, big fan of these little mini travel guys. So yes, I picked this up. So since I love the Amika dry shampoo so much, I figured I would go ahead and pick up the Amika, so what is this? The Soul Food Nourishing Hair Mask. I picked up the travel size one because you know I love like little things like this. Like I just said, you get a lot of a lot of products for a cheaper price and you get to really test it out without breaking the bank. And since I did need a hair mask, I was like, let me go ahead and try this out. I did use it today on my hair. My split ends do feel a little bit softer and they don't look as split as they normally would, but I definitely need to incorporate this into my like weekly routine. Like at least use it once a week because I was noticing like for a few months I haven't been using a mask and I was noticing that my split ends were looking a little crazy so I thought it was time to really pick up a new mask that is why I picked up this guy and I'm super excited to see if it makes like a difference so we'll see. Next thing that I picked up is this Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Longwear Lipstick. I picked mine up in the shade Doll Face. This is like the nudist shade that they have. The packaging is super Super cute, it looks like that at the top, and obviously it smells like peaches. This is what the lipstick looks like. So I am wearing it on my lips today. I'm not crazy about the color. It is a little bit more peachy than brown. I really was hoping that it would be more like a brown nude, but it is more of a peachy nude, but I do have it over a lip liner, and then I have a gloss over it, but you can really still see it on my lips. It's not a bad color. The formula is... I don't know, I'm not crazy about the formula with this. Um, I was putting it on today over like on like over a lip liner and it was looking a little like cracky even though I don't have dry lips right now. So it was making my lips look chapped even though they're not. So I don't know, I have to play around with this a little bit more but not my favorite purchase. So this literally I think just launched like this week. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is brand freaking new. And when I saw it, I was like, I need to try that. Even though I didn't like their jet lag mask, I, for some reason I was like drawn to this. So I have used it a few times already. I just got it yesterday. And it is really like thick and moisturizing. It kind of reminds me of the Bite Beauty lip mask, but not as thick. Like it is thick with the Bite Beauty one. Like you can't even like open your lips. With this one, you can obviously like open your lips. It's not as like... I don't know exactly how to describe it, but the Bite Beauty one is a little bit thicker than this. But whatever. I do... 
like this so far. I don't know. I haven't like I've used it like three times in the past like 24 hours So I can't really say if I love it or if I hate it But I love the scent of it. It actually is in the scent of vanilla, which is a really really pretty scent But I'm still testing it out. But yeah, so I purchased that <laughs> and the last thing I feel like I've been sitting here for like ever talking to you guys about this stuff But the last thing is this Pat McGrath lab skin finish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder this is what it looks like. I feel like everybody and their mother has been raving about this under eye setting powder. So I really was like, oh my God, I need to pick this up. I picked mine up in the shade light because I am obviously as fair as can be. Like there is no sort of color to me. I literally look like Casper. That's what happens when you live in New York and it's 30 degrees all year round. But so I did pick mine up in the shade light, which is that really white color. I didn't open it yet and I haven't used it because I wanted to show you guys on camera how pretty like the packaging was. That's why I didn't open it yet. But yeah, so I'm super, super, super excited to try this out because if you guys don't know, I am really ride or die for loose setting powders because I love baking underneath my eyes. I really feel like if I don't bake, my under eyes crease. And with this, it's a pressed powder, so it's going to be interesting to see if it can keep my under eyes from creasing because my under eyes can be a creasy, creasy mess sometimes. But yes, I'm super excited about this. That is all of the stuff that I have received so far. I have a few more packages coming and I will probably... This probably won't be the last video that you see of me talking about stuff that I bought during quarantine because I have just been literally on Amazon, on Ulta, on Sephora, on like every single website just ordering stuff. So I do have a few more packages coming. So I'm sure I will be doing a video later on this week showing you guys. But yeah, so that is all the stuff that I have bought during quarantine. And honestly, I don't know if it's because I'm starting to go freaking crazy that I can't leave my house. But I really, really love everything that I bought. Like, I'm super excited about all of this stuff. And I haven't been this excited about stuff in, like, a while. But like I said, could just be me going freaking crazy because I've been in my house for, like, almost three weeks straight. I did have to go to work this past week, but it was literally only for two days. And there was, like, nothing to do. I kind of just sat there for two days. So, yeah. So, I'm going a little crazy, but... It's okay, it's okay. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys are doing as much online shopping as I am because I feel like I, all I'm doing is like checking my email and tracking packages and just ordering stuff. I just feel like I'm a little out of control. But yeah, so that is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video. Bye.